and you can achieve more than you thought possible. It's so hard for me first term. But yeah, we got a ton of junk. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome. To the first Q&A on this channel. As requested, I've answered questions on Instagram, so make sure to follow me there. And today, we are going to talk about college. As you see, I am recording on a cellular device. I want high quality audio for you guys, so we're gonna try this. Anyway, I graduated from Caltech last summer. I learned some useful information that will be helpful to you guys. A lot of you guys also use the live reading slash study sessions as question times encourage you guys to check out those live sessions to see what other interesting questions might be answered from time to time what was the hardest caltech class you took transport for sure it's a chemi class and it's notoriously known as the hardest also orgo was difficult did you know people at caltech who were deferred from early action to regular decision yeah i did know a few we don't really advertise that i'm sure there were more what surprised you most about caltech btw i love you and your videos smiley face thanks so much i'm glad you like them what surprised me most about Caltech. Maybe you can see this from my vlogs, but it was dun, 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 dun. the people. The people. People here. The people. When I first went to Caltech, I thought that everyone was going to be super intimidating and super smart, which they were, of course. But the thing I didn't expect was how down to earth, caring, just very generous everyone was. What kept surprising me was that even when after the kind of honeymoon season of being a frosh there, getting to know people, making new friends, that even people who I didn't speak with until a lot later, for example, people in Fleming House and on like the soccer and volleyball teams. I was really intimidated before, but then in sophomore, junior year, when I started meeting and talking to people for the first time, they were all consistently really kind and friendly and just easy to talk to. This happened to me for all of my four years. And that's what's most surprising because it was a constant surprise. At inner house parties, it was really fun because the community was super tight and all of the classes were friends with each other. I mean, also people have drank some water. Everyone's just super accepting and outgoing. Even if you spoke to them one time, then first of all, like I don't feel like I have to hold back. And second of all, they will just come to you and it just feels like a really great time. Everyone is pretty selfless, I'd say too. It's not competitive as I heard MIT was. Having that characteristic in addition to being smart is what surprised me most and made Caltech survivable. Tell about how you found out you were accepted to Caltech in your first reaction. On the day the decisions came out, so this is early action, I was at a knowledge competition and leaving and suddenly I saw the email pop up in my phone so when I got home I was alone and then I checked my email and I was like really scared opening the box and keep in mind that like I mentioned in my dream school video like I almost didn't want to get in because then I wouldn't have to make the decision of going because I was just so scared of the workload and all the other tough things I would have to go through in my recruiting visit which is supposed to kind of like pull me in but it kind of drew me away but anyway I opened the email and woo relief because on one hand now I actually have somewhere to go on the other hand there are a bunch of other colleges that I don't have to apply to anymore. And then I got a call from the basketball coach who recruited me saying like, oh, congrats, this is like one of the most amazing accomplishments. While I was happy, I honestly feel like I was trying to force a lot of that excitement because she was so excited. And I was just like, oh, I just saw this, yes. All this momentum was building up to this one moment and there it is. And then I was just like, yeah, like, yay. <laughs> Trying my best. Told my parents, they were very excited, of course. Maybe not what you were expecting, not super excited, but that was my honest reaction. Would A in state college for undergrad greater than, be better than, I suppose, Ivy League undergrad for grad school? I'm not really sure what you mean since I don't know the grade that you said in the Ivy League, but I'm I assume you're saying kind of the equivalent of in high school is better to get a B in a hard class rather than an A in a regular class. I think it varies. This is just my opinion, okay? It depends on your major and area of study. And I think what's more important than grades is your research experience. If the Ivy League can give you better and more research experience than that state school, then sure, Ivy League is better. And also you need to form really good relationships. So if that state school is smaller, for example, and you can have closer proximity and better bonds with your professors, then they can write a better like, letter. I cannot say this. Then they can write a better letter of recommendation then it's better for grad school, not necessarily one-to-one. -one. Did studying engineering at uni ever make you feel like you weren't smart enough or doubtful of your abilities? Yeah, all the time. There are so many smart people at Caltech and I think this would apply to any university because you're no longer a big fish in a relatively small pond, like in high school, if you were, you know, say valedictorian,
valedictorian or were in the most advanced classes, right? So in college, you typically go to somewhere where people around you are like-minded, similar skilled or better. And that's amazing because you can learn from them. But oftentimes there were people who just finished their sets really early. And while my friends and I would still be struggling and then we'd feel bad to ask for help. It's like we're taking more of their time. Why are we able to finish things that quickly? Is Caltech too hard for us? We eventually fell out of the pattern of like feeling bad asking people because they were really generous. Oftentimes there would be something that we're good at that we can help them with. And throughout this whole process, it was important to remember that if it's difficult and you feel like we're doubtful of our own abilities, that that means we're in a challenge and that means we're growing. To remember that we're in a very difficult university and really stretching beyond kind of our limits, then we were able to just keep going. At Caltech, can anyone be part of a varsity sports team or they must have some prior engagement? Excellent question. One of the biggest advantages of Caltech is that it's a really small school. I got recruited for basketball, if that says anything, because I'm not that great. I didn't even make JV in high school, but I played on varsity basketball. And it's not to say that like, oh, the sports there are like not good because we still like broke records, won games, but it's just that the high school level at my school was better than Caltech and you can just walk on and play sports. You can walk on and play basketball, volleyball, but you have to be somewhat good. I actually couldn't walk on and play tennis because those girls were just more experienced than I was. So yeah, it's a really awesome opportunity. There's always at least one sport that you can walk on and go to play varsity. Yeah, so I know I uploaded Edinburgh vlogs, but I only went there to study abroad, so I'm not sure. How have you made the best of your college experience through the pandemic? I feel like I didn't really have the college experience anymore. Since COVID, we were all remote. I don't think you can really say that you have a college experience when you're remote because people there, the proximity, the dorms, the late nights working together, going to eat in the dining hall and inner house parties, they're all part of the experience to try and still keep in touch with people is that like I lived in an apartment in Pasadena in my last few terms of senior year and so I tried to hang out with people there but it was a lot more reaching out also to try and join in some virtual events but it was really sad those virtual events and last thing is like my friend and i were on a team to kind of fight against like admin to try and push for a real graduation so we tried this is actually asked in one of my reading study live streams and the question was what kind of lessons did you learn at caltech i'm gonna make a whole video dedicated to answering this question because there are so many layers to this but to say the least i learned that when you're really pushed and you have to do something you can do it we were literally pushed to our limits and as an example my first term three hour practices every day outside of the tough caltech academics and outside of those three hour practices there's that time to walk to the gym to shower to get ready and then you're more exhausted because you just expended more energy to do physical activity with classes and sets and CS, CS was so hard for me first term because I've never done it before. And the learning curve, like Caltech just goes like, whoosh, just throws you right off to the deep end. I had to stay up often till like 2 a.m. And then in the morning have to get going for a lecture and then play basketball. So it really taught me that we have a lot of mental strength and that our only limitation is ourselves and the kind of situations we put ourselves into. If you put yourself into a more difficult situation, you're gonna grow more. And so that's why I put myself in situations where I have to try more. So harder classes. I'm going to try harder in those classes and get an A, just like I would get an A in a regular class, but I want to force myself to be challenged and grow more. And Caltech was definitely a situation that stretched me and encourages you guys to push your limits and you can achieve more than you thought possible. Another lesson, this is college in general, but that we shouldn't have a poor man's mindset. Like I know we're college students and we might have student debt, tuition's expensive, other things, but with all that dining food, the fact that it was like unlimited, I just kind of went crazy first term and I regret regret that so much. And then another thing I regretted was when we had career fairs and there was a lot of free swag. You know, my friends and I would just kind of go crazy. You know, it doesn't really matter for us chemis because all the career fairs are like really helpful for Mechies and CS primarily. But yeah, we got a ton of junk and by the end, it just felt really sad and wasteful to throw it away. But then it's just trash that we're carrying for four years and it was really hard to move year after year. So, well, thanks so much for joining today. I hope that this was helpful. Not many questions were covered today. So if you would like to see your question answered, make sure to follow my Instagram and comment down below if you would like to see some more videos and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!